In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to get your website speed to two seconds to five seconds. Now, the reason why this is super important is because if your website's longer than five seconds to load, then you're gonna really struggle with conversion rates and on-page traffic. Now, for example, if somebody's scrolling through Facebook or whatever marketing platform you're using to drive traffic, they click the shop now call to action button and they just see a loading screen for five seconds or longer, then they're gonna bounce straight off there and they're gonna go back to Facebook if you're using Facebook and they're gonna use somebody else's ad to shop on and buy. So this is why it's so important that you watch this video and you watch it till the end so you know exactly what steps to take. So I'll be showing you every step on what you need to do to decrease your website speed. So for example, if your website speed's nine seconds, I'll be showing you step by step how to get that down to five seconds to two seconds. I'm also gonna be giving away one winning product in today's video. So make sure you watch this video till the end so you find out what that winning product is. I also want to say a massive thank you to everybody that's been supporting me and I also want to say a massive welcome to all the new subscribers. Now if you want to enter a giveaway to win a 15 minute consultation call with me all you need to do is comment e-commerce for kings in the comment section below and you will be entered. Now let's move on straight into the content so I can teach you how to get your website speed in between two and five seconds. <laughs> The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to understand is what is a good site speed to have? It's between two seconds and five seconds. That's the standard that I always have. Now, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do to make sure your site speed is between that range is download a fast theme. Now, if you're using a free theme, I recommend debut in Brooklyn. They're normally very fast. Now, if, you, now, if you've got the money, I definitely recommend paying for a paid theme, not just because they look better, because when you buy them, they have a better infrastructure, which means they're a lot faster and a lot quicker. Now, when you take a debut theme or a Brooklyn theme that looks very boring and generic and you start working on them, they eventually slow down through the process. Now, with a paid theme, when you buy a paid theme, they look amazing already. Then when you just change the images over, then it's already built on a good infrastructure. So that's why I do recommend a paid theme over a free theme. Now, I will leave a link in the description below to where I get all my themes from. And you, they start from as low as $14. So there's no excuse really when it comes to getting a paid theme. Now you can even go on that site and search for sp fast um, themes and it'll actually give you the themes that are super fast on the site. So they could be like two seconds, one and a half seconds. So you can even do that. But all the themes on that site that I'll recommend in the description below are all super fast and I use them all. Now the second thing that I recommend is you try and stay under having 10 apps. Now you might not even have 10 apps, you might have four apps, but because one of the apps that you've got out of the four might be built on a poor infrastructure and might be using poor hosting, it will dramatically slow down your store. Now, obviously, if you're using an app that's quite new, um, the new app developers, they haven't got a big budget, then they can't afford to pay for good hosting, which means the better the host and the faster the app's gonna work on your site. So what I normally use and what I'm using now is an app called Vitals. Now, the app called Vital is, is basically an app which has every single app you're going to need. That's the reason why it's called Vitals. It's because all the Vital apps you're gonna need is in one app called Vitals. And I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. Now, the app, like I said, um, it has all the apps you're gonna need, like reviews, trust badges, countdown timers. It has every single app you can think you're gonna need in one app. Now, the great thing about Vitals as well is it's made on a great host and in a great infrastructure, so that one app is super fast on your store. So that's what I recommend you do. Check Vitals out. I will be making a separate video in the future about Vitals and why, how I use it and how I set everything up, but it's definitely an amazing app, and I know a lot of other people that are using it and having great results with it. So the, the third thing that I recommend is you compress all your images and you compress videos. I will leave a link in the description to the to the software that I use on the on Google to compress my images and I'll also leave a separate link to the um, free software I use to compress my videos too. So I'll leave those in the in, in the description below. Now when you use images normally, they've normally got a very big file size. Then I use things like P tiny PNG to compress that JPEG or the PNG file. Now you're probably thinking when you compress images, will it will it lose a lot of resolution quality? It won't lose that much resolution quality you can't even tell to the naked eye how much resolution you lose and you can sometimes compress the images up to 60 to 70 percent which can make them super super faster now this is probably one of the biggest biggest problems that people have is they just have too big of images sizes and video sizes 
Now the fourth one to uh, decrease your website speed is minimizing redirects and broken links. Now redirects are normally for people that have got branded stores or niche stores. Now what is a redirect? So let's say for example, I had a domain name called um, Garden utilities.com and then I decided to change my domain name to a different name then people if I've already built a customer base up they already know one of my URL names to be the first one I mentioned so they're going to probably type that into Google now because I've changed my URL I'll have to redirect that old URL to the new one so the more redirects you have like that the slower your website will be because it has to go through one domain to another domain so that slows it completely down now the second part to this is broken links now if you have any broken links on your store or your website then this is going to really slow down your store as well because when Google indexes it and crawls it if it picks up any errors like broken links it will just naturally slow the website down now instead of you having to go through all the links on your website manually and have to check every single one one by one which could take you an hour then i will be sharing with you some software that i use that will check all the links on a site and it will tell you which ones are working and which ones are not working and i'll be showing you this in a minute when i finish the whole of the word document i'll show you everything in terms of the tools we'll be using after now the fifth point is manage your tracking with google tag manager now google tag manager is basically all the tracking you're doing with google whether it be google ad tracking merchant tracking whatever you're tracking you're doing all the tracking software that you'll be using over time it can start to slow down your store because the tracking can get very um, congested the tracking pixel kind of thing whatever you want to call it will get congested and it will start to slow your store down now what i like to do is every quarter i like to get a developer on board and check to make sure that none of the tracking is slowing down my store and i also recommend you do the same now you can find these people on fiverr which i'll be showing you at the end of the video as well now number six mobile speed is a priority now when you saw um desktop speed out it can sometimes slow down mobile speed so make sure that you prior prioritize mobile over desktop now 70% of visitors come from mobile and when I launch all my ads I always only target mobile um, devices never desktop devices so that's why I always prioritize mobile and like I said if you prioritize desktop over mobile some of the things that make desktop faster than mobile will slow down mobile vice versa so that's why i always say prioritize mobile now don't use too many home page slides to try um sorry don't use too many home page slides try and stick to one single image now you know on your home page at the top of your home page you've got like um some like a picture and you can sometimes click the button and it will change to a different picture or it'll automatically change to a different picture picture by picture by picture or the, the user will have to manually click the button to change the picture now that is what you call a home page slider now i don't recommend using them they will slow down your site if you do want to use them only use like one or two home page sliders or three don't use too many i see people that have got like 10 different images on the home page slider now that's going to dramatically slow down your store i always stick to just one single image at the top of the slider or should we call the strip so that's what i recommend you do now use these tools to find other unique issues so there might be other unique issues to your store or your site now you can use these tools to find those out and i'll be showing you exactly how you do this in a minute so you can use google page speed test and gtm metrics now they're the two that one they're the two that i highly recommend so let me show you how you can use these so you can see I've got GTM metrics open here. Now what you do is you enter URL and it will basically just crawl the whole of your URL and find out what's going on. And you can see here, I've got a page speed of 87 and a Y slow score of 64. And you can also see how long it takes to fully load the time of the, of the website, which is 4.6 seconds, which is under five seconds. So we're in the threshold, which is a good thing. It's positive, 4.6 is good. It could be a lot better. So what you do is if you scroll down, once you've entered your URL, it'll tell you other things that are slowing it down. Now, Google Page Insights, in my opinion, is a lot better. So if we go to Google Page Insights, you can see I've entered the same URL and it's given me more more in-depth ideas of what's going on here now the red means it's important and the yellow means it's like average so the red ones are the more important ones you want to get fixed now some of these you won't be able to fix yourself because it's a developer's job to fix these that's what they're trained to do so don't worry if you can't do all of these now what I like to do is I like to download it as a PDF and then what I like to do is I go to Fiverr and I'll search for Shopify store speed and then what it will do is it'll come up with people that will optimize your store for you to get it down to so you can see here this guy's got his some of his some of the stores down to 1.1 second and you can start you see it starts at eight pound 26p so what i like to do is hire them send them the pdf for what's wrong sometimes they'll do their, do their own diet um, analytics on the site so, so that's what i normally do <coughs> pardon me don't know what's going on there 
So like I said, if there's some areas that you just can't fix because you're not a developer, then go on Fiverr or Upwork and hire somebody that can. You can get it done for really, really cheap. Like you can see here, eight pounds. It's worth it in the end because at the end of the day, if you can convert a lot more traffic because your site speeds a lot faster, then it's worth it or pay itself off. So let me show you the winning product of today's video before I move on to the um, tool that I use to find out if there's any broken links. So this is the winning product of today's video, which is a... I don't even know how you describe it. So it's like, let me just show you the video so you guys actually know what it is because it's quite hard to describe what it is. So that's enough of the video playing. So that's enough of me playing the video. So what as you can see is it's a multi-carry container where you can carry different bits of food in different parts of the container. So the top part, you can carry your rice. The part underneath, you can carry your chicken. And the part under that, you can carry your veg. Now, the great thing about this product is it's super handy. Now, when you carry food in just one container, then you can cross-contaminate, which might be an issue. And sometimes when you carry food in the same container, another issue can be where, for example, if you're carrying rice, and one in the same container as your chicken that you're having with your rice. Now, chicken takes longer in the microwave than rice does, so that's what an issue could be. You could burn the food because you have to microwave it all as one. So having it in a different container means you can microwave them one at a time so you get the best results for your food. There's other major reasons why this is a pro. Like I said, cross-contamination, loads of other things, carrying loads of different foods, making sure that the food doesn't get mixed with other foods to ruin the taste of it. So that's why this product is a super great product. Now, let me show you what it looks like on AliExpress. This is what it looks like on AliExpress and this is the one that I recommend you test. The one in the video here is just plain, they're, they're just plain blue. Now these ones here that I found, they've got like a pan to them and you can also get them in multi multicolor variants. So you can get them in pink, green, blue. And the great thing that, about this one is they look a lot nicer and they look a little bit more premium. So they're the ones that I recommend you can get them in one layer, two layers and three layers. Now the one that I think will work best is the three layer one. They just look amazing. They work amazing as well. So that is the winning product of today's video. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to check every single link on your store without ease. So it's going to be completely easy to do this. Now I'll use a Chrome extension called check my links and it looks like this and I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can check this out and get it. It's completely free. So you just click it and it will check every single link on the store and you can see they're all turning green to say they're working. If they turn red, it doesn't mean they're working. So it'll tell you if there's any warnings or any invalid links and you can see on this site, there's no issues with any links on this site. So that's the check done. So you can see how much time it's going to save you using this tool. Now, now that's today's video done and I'll see you guys in the next one.